Hey guys, it's Nate here with a new video on five coding concepts that companies will test you on on data science interviews in 2021. As you guys know, I'm always tracking and collecting interview questions from various companies so that we can get an understanding of what technical concepts they're testing for on interviews and also what skills we need to have to be successful in a career in data science. So I want to go through some of these questions that I've collected in the first few weeks and months of 2021. They're as real time as can be and probably still being asked on interviews. So the companies that I'm sourcing from today are Facebook, Postmates, Credit Karma, Ring Central and Twitch. I'll introduce to you guys the coding concept that they're testing for and then show you the actual interview question I collected from that company. All right, so let's get started. If you like content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you at the other side of the transition. All right, so let's start simple with the first concept. The first concept is categorizations, aggregations, and ratios. So you're probably thinking, aren't those three different concepts? Yes, they are, but they're almost always tested together in one question. And it's probably the most commonly tested concept out there in data science interviews, especially in the beginning rounds. By categorizations, I really mean case statements in SQL. I'll stick with SQL technical concepts for this video because I see that most people use SQL for a lot of their coding interviews. But these concepts could be generalized across all coding languages. And so two aggregations are like taking the sums or the average, and they're usually tested on coding interviews, usually after you categorize the data. And then from there, once you have an aggregation, a lot of times you take the ratio of the aggregation itself. So all three of those concepts are tested all at once. Let me show you an example by Facebook. All right, so as mentioned before, this is a real data science interview question that was collected in the first few months of 2021. This question is titled share of active users. Return the share of monthly active users in the United States. Active users are ones with the open status in the table, in the data set table. So let's take a look at the solution right here. This is also the underlying table on the bottom right. So if this solution makes sense to you, then congratulations, you're on the right track. But if it doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. Let me explain to you exactly what's being tested with this question and this solution. So as you guys can see in the subquery right here, what's actually being tested is a combination of things. So there is a categorization coding concept right here, basically the case statement where we are picking out the users with a status of open. And then we have an aggregation right here, this count function being applied to the case statement. So what we're doing is just counting the number of users that have the status open, and then we are counting basically all of the users in the data set. So this is then going to be the denominator and the users with the open status will be the numerator for the ratio we're taking. And so now we have the ratio right here where it's the active users divided by the total users. So again, it's all three concepts tested at once. The tricky part isn't even really the testing of these concepts. It's actually trying to organize your code so it makes sense and that you can walk your code with the interviewer and so that they understand what's going on as well. That's the hard part right here, being logical and practical. So as you can see in this instance, we are using a subquery to really split out that logic. And then a little nuance right here, we're using a casting function. We are uh, converting a data type of integer, which is, you know, a count of the total users to a float or to a decimal so that when you actually run this division, you can get a ratio that is between zero and one. So that's a small little nuance that a lot of people miss on interviews just because maybe they don't have enough experience or they're just nervous and stressed out about the interview. Okay, so let's move on to the second coding concept. It is joins, subqueries, and CTEs. So again, these are three different coding concepts, but they're always being tested together to solve one problem. So that's why I grouped them into one concept. So here's an example of what I mean. This question right here is from Credit Karma. The question reads, write a query that joins this submission table to the loans table and returns the total loan balance on each user's most recent refinance submission. 
And here's the solution to this question. So it looks pretty complicated, right? It even includes other advanced concepts that I'm not even covering in this video. But as you can see, there's a join right here. And then there's also a subquery right here that could be rewritten as a CTE if you choose to do that. But what's really being tested in this question is if you can blend two different data sources together and then aggregate that data from the one join table. So what's really being tested here is if you can blend two different data sets together and then take an aggregation. So we have essentially the sum of the total balance by user ID from these two tables. Remember that a successful interview will require you to walk the interviewer through your logic and why you're doing what you're doing. So an example of that is you're going to have to guide the interviewer through your decision of using a left join versus an inner join or any other type of join. So if you're reading this code and you understand what it's doing, then congratulations. Again, you're on the right track. If not, that's okay. Let's keep practicing. So while we're talking about subqueries, they can actually be found in multiple places, not just in join statements like in the previous question. Subqueries can also be found in the where clause of SQL statements. This coding concept, subqueries in the where clause, is commonly tested and it's actually the concept that most people get wrong. So let's take a look at this question from Ring Central. It says, how many paid users had any calls in April 2020? So this is the solution to this question. So a subquery in the where clause will quickly allow you to grab information from one table and use it as a filtering condition in the main query, just like we're seeing here. So subqueries in the where clause, like we see right here, allow you to quickly grab information from one table and then use it as a filtering condition in your main query. So in this example, we are grabbing user IDs from this user table with the status of paid and then using it as a filtering condition for this table table right here, RC calls. So in my experience, not a lot of people would solve this problem in this exact way. There are actually many ways to solve this problem and it's up to you to try to figure out which way is most efficient. I'll create a video in the next few weeks of all of the different ways to solve this problem. So the next coding concept tested on data science interviews in 2021 are window functions. Window functions are heavily utilized in data science work. I've talked about them extensively in my previous videos. One example of this is a question by Twitch. The question reads, from the user who had their first session as a viewer, how many streamer sessions have they had? And so here's the solution. This is a long solution. It's pretty complicated. And yes, it was actually asked in an interview. But don't worry, in the upcoming weeks, I'll actually step through the solutions for each of these questions that I'm covering. This question will take a lot of time to solve. So they're not typically asked in the beginning rounds. They're typically asked in the later rounds where you have a lot more time with the interviewer. So as you can see, this is the window function here, which is then wrapped in the subquery, which is then in the where clause. So there are a lot of things going on as you step through the solution to this question. All right. Last coding concept covered in data science interviews in 2021. The last one is date manipulations. This one is always asked on interviews because everyone in analytics from an analyst to a data scientist to a data engineer will always work with dates. It would actually be really weird if you didn't work with dates. So because dates are typically stored in a format where it gives you the month, the day, the year, and the timestamp sometimes, you're typically going to have to manipulate that raw date time format so that you can aggregate that up to a month level or to a year level or to some other level. So you're gonna need to know how to manipulate dates. Here's a question from Postmates. Which hour of the day averages the highest order volume? So here's the solution to the question. Basically what you're trying to do here is extract the hour component from the timestamp from the date time data um, and you're using the date part function to do that. So you're going to need to know date functions to be able to solve this question. And typically what you're trying to do is you're always trying to extract a component of the date, whether it's hour like in this question or it's month or it's year. And once you have that information, you can then start to aggregate things up to that level. So it's really a matter of just knowing these date functions. And as you probably have guessed, I have a few videos videos on that too. So check them out in the description. All right. So did you guys think those questions were difficult? If so, in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to answer each of those questions that I just introduced. So if you're interested in seeing them, please subscribe to this channel to get updates on the videos being released.
I also have links to all of the questions I introduced in this video and then also the resources that I put together on the technical topics. So check them out in the description. Remember, these are data science interview questions that were asked in the first few weeks and months of 2021. So these technical coding concepts are definitely going to be tested. There are definitely more than just five questions that I've collected. If you want to see the complete list of interview questions from 2021 and previous years, I have a link in the description below as well. I hope this was helpful. Let's start with these five questions in the next few videos and see how we can solve them together. Until then guys, keep practicing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.